Little Hadley Angel lies motionless, sick with malaria. She was admitted here to Kasumu County Hospital a few days ago with a very high fever and convulsions. She's only a year old and her mother, Masu Velma, is beside herself with worry. I was a little, a little bit of fever and the, the baby was not feeling, uh, the baby was not playing as usual. I'm very much worried about the, 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 the child because she's my firstborn. I really love her. Malaria is one of the biggest killers known to man, but Angel will survive. She's been vaccinated with three doses of a groundbreaking malaria vaccine. It's probably saved her life. Sister Sulema has been a pediatric nurse for 10 years. She's lost count of the number of children who have died of malaria. But the vaccine, she tells me, is saving lives. I can say that there has been a very high reduction in the level of admission like what we used to see before, like you see most of our, uh, our pets are now not occupied. So the vaccine is having a real impact? Yes, the vaccine has really made a very uh, big impact because long before you could get the entire pet occupancy, at least more than 70% with malaria. But as opposed to now, you are getting like three out of 16, that is a very minimal percentage. <laughs> The World Health Organization has been trialing GSK's RTSS vaccine in sub-Saharan Africa, countries like Kenya, Ghana and Malawi. It's been so effective that it's hoped it can save the lives of millions of African children. They are vaccinated, you have to, to tell according to the number of doses, if it's the first dose, the second dose. This is the first ever vaccine against a human parasite and that's why it was so difficult to engineer. It's taken a hundred years of failed attempts to get here. This is Africa's great hope. Finally, a malaria vaccine that could break this vicious cycle of death, disease and poverty. And this is the ideal breeding place for, for malaria. mosquitoes. Yeah, I think that, and that's why they're trying to uh, evacuate it. That, that was a, a pipe leak. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that pipe leak is uh, it's also one of the breeding areas for malaria. Malaria hits the poorest the most, and especially the children from those communities. Home visits like this one track the spread and identify babies who might be infected. But African children can now look forward to a future free from the scourge of malaria. George is ready to go home after his battle with the disease. This vaccine means he might never have to come back with malaria again. Ashish Joshi, Sky News in Kisumu in Kenya.